Oh, the perseverance pays off. Suck it, dragon. All those spears sticking out of your ass, tongue hanging out of your mouth. You deserved it. Oh, that was the worst. Say hello to my little friend. No! <laughs>
I need to catch one of these going in the right direction. Oh, this is my chance. All right. What in the hell? The beast troll. I am starving. <laughs> Bounce right off his big fat belly. Oh, okay then. The lava seemed like the only thing I had to worry about. I gotta move fast. Ah! Okay. I knew there was all those things on the roof that could potentially fall. I was quite scared of that. Now, now I'm ready. I gotta boost the jump. There you go, Tubbo. <laughs> the way his stomach expands, you get like the burp in there and everything. It's great. What are we going to do about that snake? Enthusiastic snake specialist. Over there is the most dangerous snake species known to this world, the black mamba. I've never been able to get a glimpse of it, let alone see it in the flesh. I'm concerned for our well-being, but frozen in place by my fascination for this sighting, while simultaneously unable to process what exactly my next step should be at this very moment. Or, if I can even step to begin with. I'm probably just going to end up throwing him at the snake, right? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not only self-aware. But I can also vocally communicate. It is in this ability that I can release my thoughts upon the masses and slowly begin to usurp modern thought. My first, my first becoming a public icon in the entertainment industry. Once I've staked a claim within the industry, the plebeians will begin to attribute my opinions as high value, while simultaneously being able to use my career as a platform for influence in culture and politics, despite having nothing but money and acting career. I can't pick him up. I thought I was gonna legit throw him. I think I could just go straight past these guys off the bridge. That was just the weirdest little side thing. And now? What the hell? What is this Baba is you bullshit that's all of a sudden introduced? What? I don't understand. Oh, man. Okay. I legit kind of have to, like, lock up these dogs, in a way. Uh, back you go. Get back, get back. I'm cornering myself. Damn it! I can also, like, legit just throw the steak. Uh, you guys just, you guys take it. Take it! <laughs> doesn't, doesn't work. Hmm, that dog didn't follow me that time. I can't believe how close I was and how damn long that took and how much less funny this level is. Do it! Just do it! Truth, I have to land directly beside it. Please tell me I can jump out of here. Oh, god damn you. Oh, god damn you, that took forever. Another sweet old lady, woman aged by her worldview. Sometimes it never seems to end. Oh, damn it. Damn you and your prophetic words of wisdom. Oh, 
shit, okay, I guess we just keep going. See, I like this better. Eventually, I figured out the dog thing, and it was, I, I was able to get through it. But, like, man, did it take a lot of trial and error and really derailed, like, the kind of cool, quick clip that this game was going at. I assume I have to think through this more than I am. Yeah, that was some endless staircase shit. That was not gonna end. Can't, can't throw her off the bridge. To the left, though. There it is. Oh, man. It's a lot of pointy objects. That really springs you up into that, doesn't it? Jesus. Uh, God, it's so fast. Oh, no. I probably would have landed on the spikes there. I didn't, I gotta, I gotta stop hovering my finger over the R button if I'm gonna hit it accidentally like that. There we go. Once you stop and think about it at all, it wasn't so bad. Oh, hurry your shit up. Oh, god damn it! What the hell was that? Ninja Turtle shit. It's a Ninja Turtle! What am I saying? Of course it makes perfect sense. Now nah, I just gotta run the hell away from this guy. <laughs> Will he only... No, well, at least I can hurry his ass up that way. Is he gonna chuck himself off the edge? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, they're throwing cows at me! That's some Monty Python shit and I love it. What? I went into the castle and I have to actually fight like the Black Knight and there's a whole level down here? What? I wasn't prepared for any of this. Have we got some Scooby-Doo doors going on? What in the hell? That's so terrifying. I landed on his head and lived somehow and I... <laughs> I landed on his sword, and he carried me into the spikes. What if I just ride with him? No. I knew that was coming, and I still couldn't avoid it. Okay. The door's unlocked. Uh, oh, maybe that's permanent. Maybe that's a shortcut now. It's like, it's almost like a checkpoint. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, Oh, but this son of a bitch is gonna fall down. Oh, he runs over it, thankfully. Hey, hey. It's like the least excited Krusty the Clown that's ever existed. Hey, hey. A hundred damn deaths. I legit don't know what level I'm on. Ten? God damn it. Please. Oh god. Oh, okay. This is m more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was just gonna calmly, casually roll me out to where I needed to be. Oh, please, 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 please. No! God damn you, the jump didn't work properly. Uh. I got too excited. <sighs> I think I, I think I tried to jump when I, I had already stepped a, a centimeter off the edge of that stupid platform. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't chuck. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't chuck a cow at me out the other side of the castle. I think I have to actually like chuck spears at this guy. I love it. Oh, it's gonna be impossible though. <laughs> you have to get so close, he has three hearts. This can never be done. It's not gonna make me go back and forth for this, is it? Like, uh, if, I, if I land one attack, that'll be good enough? No, you're kidding me. Oh, I will never do this. That felt just short. You dragon bastard. Oh, even at the peak of the fireball's height, you can still jump it. So at least now I know that you can just jump everything. Damn you. 
Pathetic tosses. I was trying to like alternate going over and under. It resulted in a quick rapid like 20 deaths. This is some of the, the twitchiest gameplay I've ever experienced in the sense that I'm just like panicking so hard and like just spastically slapping the keyboard around to try and try and dodge around this shit. Not even a constant flow, there's like a slight randomness to how often this thing shoots its fireballs. Damn it! That was the closest I've ever even gotten to two. I haven't even hit this thing twice yet. Such tight muscles driving me insane. God damn it. God damn it. I can't tell what's going on. <laughs> that was. It's like trying to go entirely off of muscle memory and reflexes when you've never worked out a day in your life. Fuck you, stupid dragon. I'm running past this piece of shit. Oh, you can't, you can't really. After like nearly a hundred deaths on this monster, I thought maybe I would, I would suddenly realize that you can cheese this by not actually killing it. No, you're kidding me. 200, 200 deaths. I had it in my mind, like, all right, don't try and move forward on every single jump. Wait, wait for the times when the dragon gives you a space between the fireballs that you can actually move forward during, and that worked really well. Takes a hell of a lot longer. Oh, God damn this. I damn it. No, no one else is needed. I, I damn it all on my own. Perseverance pays off. Suck it, dragon. All those spears sticking out of your ass, tongue hanging out of your mouth. You deserved it. Oh, that was the worst. No! <laughs> I just wanted to read the side. Look at the way he ran off the side there. The way he just runs straight down the cliff. I had to see that a second time. It's amazing. Yep. Oh, he jumps. I'm going out the other way then. I can't. Oh, he only gets his one shot off, then he bails, though. All right. Hey, lumberjack guy doing your little exercises over there. What the shit? Oh my god, he's climbing up using an axe on one side. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I think I'm supposed to make myself a, a platform using the axe, maybe? Nah, that doesn't work. Just try to not get hit by these probably deadly acorns. Oh, 
Suck it, you stupid little squirrel. I'm the king of the forest. Yeah! <laughs> oh shit, I probably needed that. Ah! I can't be- okay, I got, I got it back, I got it back. What are you doing? Ah! I don't like this! What? <laughs> I can't even have words for it because I don't even understand what the hell's going on. I just have to collect axes to chop down the tree? This is like the most creative, most ridiculous level, but it's also insanely difficult and I might never get that axe back. I don't know how many axes I need. Oh wait, no need for like jumping shots or anything like that. That makes it a little bit easier. But still, this guy's throwing cans of gas at me. This is the most insane shit ever. And I love it. Oh, you didn't need every single one. I was worried that would happen and I didn't know what to do about it. <laughs> like, of, uh, of course it would happen, right? This lumber jerk has some serious issues that I think he needs, he needs help with. One, two more maybe? That was it, that was it, that was it. But what do I do? What do I do? Guys, I've come to the conclusion that this is not the sort of game you beat in one sitting. Ah, so, uh, yeah, if you run down to the screen below it, like, resets. So I, I, I can't even hide out with the squirrel or anything like that. Maybe I just have to be faster? I gotta throw the axe from like further away and just run like hell? There it was. Yeah, you just gotta be crazy fast on that one. And is this gonna kill me? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. I realized at the last possible second. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, I should have thrown myself the extra two feet out to clear the bridge. Now I have to painfully crawl my way across. Look at that. That's... I can't believe that's actually programmed into the game. It's so fucked up, but I love it so much. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah! <laughs> The Time Wizard? What in God's green earth is going on? There is no God here anymore. Uh, are, the, are the letters killing me? They are. What the sh shit? Oh my God, it's aging me to go through all this. What have you done, Time Wizard? I don't know how to hurt this guy. The weirdly sexual noises when it starts are just ridiculous. Maybe I'm de-aging myself with, with some of this stuff? His big gray beard but his like rippling bod and, and on time thrusts. See, some of those scythe things are, like, purple, and purple seems to be good. This is all I have to go off of currently. Oh, I smashed his, his speaker on the scythe! He's still thrusting and grunting away, though. I, I don't know how to stop that. He might be doing that, uh, in perpetuity. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break, break everything slowly and steadily. Holy shit! Oh! Okay, I gotta knock this dude's scythes out of the sky, or his sickles, whatever the hell they are. Here it comes. Yeah, that's what we got going on. Now that I got it figured out, it's not so bad. I don't know how I got jumped around like that. I don't know why I'm still alive. I don't know what happened at all. I'm very grateful to not be dead. That was, uh, that was but tough. Never he never dies. I ah. will return. 
He will return. I was going to say, it seems like he kind of died. If you were watching as closely as I was, looks like he super died. Suck on that time, wizard. I guess I'm going to attempt this like, I'm so old. No. <laughs> What was what was the game that people used to make custom maps that were like like line rider or whatever I guess there's probably better examples of like don't touch anything style maps I can't think of what game specifically I remember I remember that being like a super fun thing and that you just spent forever doing like the world's most challenging shit and then you had the little reprieve of a level where you just kind of like tap your guy Watch him go on the world's craziest obstacle course and you could just uh, pretend that you succeeded when really you, uh, contributed nothing. I want to see what this shady Octodad looking guy is down at the bottom here. And then after that I have to accept the fact that this is not getting completed in one sitting. <sighs> oh baby. Hey man, shh, just take this quick, go! What are you? What did you give me? What shady shit did I just accidentally take part in? What? <laughs> Do I even want to know? Do I want to get involved? I got reverse dead drowned bison coming coming up backwards through the, the bottom of of this ocean or whatever to come seek their revenge, maybe possibly. I don't know what they got to be mad at me about. They were the ones who trampled me to death like fifty-seven times. So there there are like checkpoints, and the fact that this is like one of the last ones in the line here. I thought that maybe that meant I was at the end of the game and that I should just finish it. I looked it up, it looks like at best I'm like halfway through. But it's enough torment for one sitting here. If you guys want to see more, absolutely let me know. It's a funny, silly concept. I wish there was a healthier balance of like the, the length of levels now and again. You get stuck on something like that goddamn dragon that took 400 attempts, approximately. So, so some of that can be a bit much. But overall, it's a funny concept. It reminds me of some of like the good old Flash days, silly, just like conceptual things. Gameplay like doesn't matter. The fact that out of nowhere there'll be that uh, level where it's the snake and it's just like a wall of text but nothing actually stops you from jumping off the bridge. That sort of like unpredictability is always super fun and I really, I really enjoy that sort of stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. You'll have to let me know what you think down below and I'll see you again soon.